Hello. This is your daily for Wednesday, uh, February 26th. I'm trying to straighten that out. Okay. 2020. So, let's see what we have. Uh, get these cards together. Um, the energies uh, that I'm feeling that are coming for those of you who will be watching this video, either uh, now, as I just put it up, or uh, later on, the later in the evening of Wednesday, or possibly early Thursday morning, depending on where you live. So the time zones are quite different everywhere. I am picking up uh, energies uh, for air signs. And with air signs, I am feeling like there is going to be uh, something that's going to feel overwhelming to you that you're going to have to deal with today. It is going to speak about uh, something that may be challenging in a certain way, but this is definitely going to be uh, a little overwhelming. But I think as long as you <clears throat> break something down a little bit instead of trying to handle it all at once, then I feel like you'll be able to handle uh, it successfully, meaning that it won't cause you long-term problems. All right? So I feel like you'll be kind of like one and done. You'll handle it and it'll be over. Uh, fire signs for today, the energy will be more so about um, self-perseverance. Self-perseverance. So what I feel like is, you know, in the past, fire signs, somebody's been putting you down or feeling like you can't do something. I feel like you're going to persevere. You're going to push through a certain situation. And I feel like you're going to also come out ahead. It feels like whatever had been going on where somebody had put you down or said that you weren't good enough or uh, made statements that, you know, things... Um, need to uh, be changed or adjusted or whatever. I, I just feel like you're going to show them that this does work, whatever it is that you're doing, that it works the way you're doing it, and that you do a very good job at it. This may also relate to your job, okay? Uh, water signs, water signs. Today, Wednesday, is going to feel kind of... Um, the whole day is going to feel kind of like wishy-washy. And it makes sense with water signs because it's always moving. So I do feel like your energy today, water signs, is definitely having movement. And I don't feel like the movement's sluggish. I feel like you're finally picking up speed with something. You're finally making a decision to get something taken care of. It, it feels like for a lot of water signs, either you or your partner um, tended to procrastinate in a lot of situations. But I feel like something's going to change where that's concerned. So water signs are going to get a lot done today, so to speak. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get a lot done today. Earth signs. Earth signs for today. You, you are going to have to stop, look, and listen. For today, earth signs. Stop, look, and listen. So stop, slow your roll, slow down today. Pay attention to something. Read all the signs. Read the fine print on documents. Look and pay attention to other cars around you. Look at the traffic. Look at the people. Pay attention to your surroundings, okay? All well, that has to do with pickpocketers and robberies and things of that nature. Pay attention to your surroundings today. Listen. Listen to what you hear in the background. If you're getting a phone call, you're not sure who it's from or what's going on, pay attention to all the sounds that you hear. Do you hear a train in the background? Do you hear an airplane in the background? Do you have a car running? Well, you know, pay attention to the sounds today. Very, very important. Okay? The color that's going to be for... Air signs, today is pink. Pink again, you got pink. So air signs, I know we had red, but now you have pink. Pink is talking about being a little bit softer. Finding a way to kind of ease into something. I also feel like air signs, you're going to uh, see something in a different light. You're also going to realize air signs that um, it is in fact all about you. Because you have to look around you, air signs, and look at everything you've created. Whether it's the children you've created, whether it's the job you've created, whether it's the lifestyle that you created, whether it's your morals and, and things of that nature that you created. But I feel like you, you need to be proud of yourself, Air Signs. You have a lot to show for who you are and what you've done throughout your life. A lot of you uh, are not giving yourself credit, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're not giving yourself credit. And this color pink is saying that you're going to show your softer side today. You're going to show that you have so much patience. You're going to show that you're very understanding. You're going to show that you're very cooperative. Um, and I also feel like you're going to feel that. You're going to wake up feeling very refreshed. Um, I feel like your day is going to start today uh, better than many other days 
<coughs> recently. I also feel like there are good messages coming in for you. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of style, a lot of class, a lot of sophistication. But even more than that, there's beauty. So air signs, nothing but beauty is showing for you guys. Excuse me, I take a drink. Oh, that coffee does it every time. Okay. Fire signs. Your color for today is black, fire signs. And black is because you're able to protect yourself from negative people, negative energy, toxic situations. I feel like this is a very good day for you today. Wednesday is strong. Um, it's kind of like when you woke up today, you kind of knew that it was going to be a day that even if you faced challenges, you were going to be fine. Um, today is a very high confidence level day. Okay? So no matter what comes in front of you, what comes towards you, you'll be able to either push it away if you want to or deal with it if you want to. Water signs. Water signs. Your color for today is talking about yellow. Yellow because you are standing out above the rest. You are also um, making yourself known or making something that you're doing known. You're also being watched, maybe at work. Somebody is admiring or appreciating what you're doing. I do feel like yellow is also a happy color. So today is not going to be a, a gloomy kind of day. It's going to be quite happy. I feel like you're going to finally turn that frown upside down today. It's going to be very pleasant, very easygoing, and it's going to be a quick day. Before you know it, it's going to be over. So enjoy today. Enjoy it. Earth signs. Earth signs. Your color for today. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Your color for today is white. And white is because you're blending in. Um, <clears throat> it's also because you're very open. It's because you're accepting people for the way they are. It's because you're allowing people to paint their canvas any color they want to. It means that you're not criticizing. It means that you're not judging. So today is a great day for you because having the color white not only stands for purity and shows that you're trying to do things differently. It shows you're trying to be a better person. It's showing that you're trying to make a difference in someone's life. Even if it's your own. Alright. So the numbers that go along with the elements. Number one goes with air signs. One, talking about being number one, standing alone, being able to handle a situation. <clears throat> one is not a lonely number. Many of you air signs are alone right now, which is why the number one is so precedent to you. Because number one stands for you being single or you being by yourself right now. But it's okay because it will change. Tomorrow's another day. Fire signs, your number today is four. And four is because you have a crowd around you or you have a lot of support around you. You also have a lot of love around you. Four is also going to talk about um, luck, skills, blessings. All right? Earth signs. Your number today is three. Three talks about the divine, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It also talks about um, almost finishing something, almost completing something. It also talks about being protected by the angels. Three is a very good angel number. Water signs. Water signs. Your number for today is six. Six is not a bad number. Six is talking about <clears throat> getting prepared for something to either end or start. So if something has already ended, be prepared for something new to start. Something new is coming. Someone new may be coming. <clears throat> Six also speaks of uh, owning your own identity. Um, believing in yourself. Not being a follower, but a leader. And I'm not getting any other numbers, so I have to leave it like that. I'm not getting any other numbers. No other numbers. Mm -mm. I'm listening, I'm listening. Not getting any other numbers. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about today is um, Aries. So Aries for today, your card is the Tower. So you have the tower moment, which means you're either producing this, creating this, or wanting this to happen. You're, you're, you're getting to the point where you're finally either done with something, or 
you're trying to end the way that you're behaving, and you're trying to do things the way that you think you're expected to do them. You're also praying and asking a lot of your parents or people on the other side to help you to understand the situation, to also to help you to uh, do something in a different fashion. They are hearing you. They are trying to grant your wishes. However, they're saying that you need to do the work. <clears throat> they can't create it for you, but they are there to support and encourage you along the way. Leo, your card is the fool today. So the fool is meaning you're willing to take a risk. You're willing to step out. You're willing to stand up. You're willing to take a chance. You're willing to try something. So it is very good for you today because you have no fears today, which is good. And it's all positive things. Nothing negative that you're trying to do. Sagittarius, you have the Queen of Cups. So Sagittarius, you're looking very carefully at what you can do with what you have. Some of you may be trying to sell some items. Some of you may be trying to sell some stock. <clears throat> some of you may be just wanting to invest in yourself once and for all. You've always put so much energy to other people that maybe now, Sagittarius, it's time to invest in yourself. Next up, Gemini. Gemini, you have the Three of Wands. So, Gemini, either you or your partner is still trying to make a decision right now. You're trying to look over all the evidence. You're trying to look at the whole picture, trying to figure out the right from wrong, the good from bad, um, what was worth it, what wasn't worth it, what wasted your time, what didn't, and you're trying to get a direction from there. You are going to be able to make a decision very soon. So if you feel like you're in that part right now where nothing seems like it's working out and you feel like just you don't know which way to go, it's coming. The clarity is coming. All right. Libra. Libra, you have the Page of Cups. So, Libra, although there is an offer on the table, you're not sure if you want this offer. You're not sure what you want to do with it. It may be you dealing with a water sign. You may be dealing with a fire sign. But I just feel like you're unsure. You know what they're offering, what they're saying. But I also feel like... Um, You may be appreciating the way somebody is doing something. It also feels like um, you may be getting a dream or a wish to come true. I also feel like there is an offer that is coming towards you. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the four of swords. Aquarius, you are definitely up in your head right now, worrying about a lot of things, not sure what to do, not sure how to handle them. Um... And you're focusing so much on the problem that you're not thinking about the solution. So you need to change your focus. That's that's the, that's it. You need to change your focus. Cancer. <clears throat> Cancer, you have the chariot card. The chariot card is speaking about protecting yourself. Somebody needs to know the password in order to get in. Somebody needs to say the right things to you in order for you to accept their apology. In order for you to let them have another try. So that's coming. Pisces. Pisces, you have the four of pentacles. So Pisces, you're holding on to your money very tightly. You're being careful not to spend it carelessly, frivolously. But I feel like you are wanting more. It feels like you're afraid that you're going to lose everything in a situation. Some of you may be dealing with a court battle or date and worried about having to lose your money or not get enough money. If you are claiming disability, you're worried about uh, not getting enough to pay what you need to pay. Scorpio, queen of pentacles. Again, you too are looking at what you have and so sad about something that you had lost in the past. But it feels like all you have left now is what you're holding on to and you feel like if you take a risk with that, you may lose everything. So right now, you guys are contemplating on what to do next in a situation with a relationship. <clears throat> Taurus. Taurus, you have the Six of Swords. So Taurus, either you left or somebody else left. But somebody is definitely going in another direction right now. Their back is kind of turned to you. They're not wanting to hear what you have to say. They're not trying to communicate with you right now. But that's going to change very soon, within the next couple of days. Capricorn. Capricorn. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Many options. Many things that you can choose from. Trying to make a decision. It feels like you're looking things over. You keep going back and forth and back and forth. You're thinking about the same thing over and over again. Something's very repetitious with you right now. Virgos, Virgos, you are repairing yourself from a broken heart. 
You're definitely recovering from a broken heart here with the Three of Swords, and it clearly shows that it is nowhere near this way anymore. You are now in a recovery state, and things are going to pick up. For some of you, you had to deal with something that ended, but it is now going to give you the opportunity, the chance for a new beginning. Today's words that seem to be really important today, it feels that there is uh, opportunity, opportunity that is going to be knocking on the door. It is going to be your choice on whether or not you answer it. There also is going to be uh, challenges, yes. Each sign of the zodiac will face some challenges today. For some of you, someone may have lost a dog or a dog got out. I do feel like this dog is safe. It reminds me of one of my moderators as well, letting her know that everything is okay. It, it could have been worse. There could have been bad news to come with it, but at least everything is okay with the dog. I feel like there's going to be um, something to do with a vehicle and it's something about the hood, shutting the hood. Be careful not to have your hands or someone else's hands under that hood or leaning on the car when you go to shut that hood. Be very careful of that. Someone else is going to lock their keys in the car, so be careful. Because today, yeah, it's hump day, it's Wednesday, but be careful. Be careful that you don't lock the keys in the car. That seems very, very prevalent. Very prevalent. Somebody else is dealing with somebody who's quite stubborn. Quite stubborn. Not willing to consider anything. Not willing to make any choices or, or take any chances. So be careful with this person because, they, you know... They're not a team player right now. They're not trying to be a team player. For some of you, you've gone back and forth, back and forth in a situation, and it really has gotten you nowhere. So you're getting a little bit tired of doing the same thing over and over and getting the same outcome. A lot of you are dealing with the devil card that just came up, which means you're dealing with somebody that has toxic energies. Somebody who may be drinking. Somebody may be doing drugs. Somebody may be doing something illegal. They may be gambling. They may be doing something where money is concerned. Somebody may be stealing from their job. Or they don't call it stealing because they feel like they're borrowing the money and as long as they put it back before the deposit's due on Friday that they're good. You can't do that. That's illegal. You can be arrested for that. Please don't do that, whoever's doing that. Please stop it right now. Put that money back. Don't ever touch it again. Don't ever touch it again. For some of you, there is a lot of fast travel coming up. You can expect to be going back and forth or doing some traveling very soon. For some of you, somebody has walked away, stepped out on your situation, your relationship, and this was a long-term commitment. This is between three and nine years. Three and nine years. If that is you, the person who stepped out is going to have a lot of regrets on what they did, but it's still showing that they're going to still have secrets. They're still going to keep things from you. You may decide, and I think you will, to take this person back because you love them with all your heart and you truly believe that you can fix things or together you can fix things. But a leopard is not going to change his spots after this long. He's not. Because the only way this person learned their lesson was for losing, if they lose somebody that they truly love for good, as in partnerships, <clears throat> then they'll realize that they lost everything. But right now, all they're doing is seeing a couple cups down, and they figure they still have a couple cups left. So when they're looking at their cups and looking at the situation, they're like, yeah, okay, so I messed up, okay, I did this, I hurt them, but they're still letting me come back. Um, yeah, I see where the damage is I've done, but... You know what? They'll forgive me. I'll be able to come back again. And once again, the card came out. I can't help it. The card came out. And it is definitely going to lead to a broken heart. Now listen, this card was just reversed. And now it's back up again. So be very careful if you're dealing with somebody who keeps making false promises. Okay? Who keeps giving you that lick and a promise. And it never comes to fruition. Then you know it's time. It's time to refuse to share your cup anymore. Because if you continue... You are going to play the fool in a situation, and you're not going to be able to get out of that. You're going to be stuck for a long time, and it's going to put a lot of heartache and pressure on you emotionally, and then on your physical, and then on your mental, because you're not going to sleep, and then you may start drinking, and um, you might start taking tranquilizers. Do not do that. Don't sabotage yourself. This person is not worth that, okay? They're going out and going to be with somebody else, and you're going to sit home and hurt yourself. That makes no sense. No sense. You have a decision to make here. Whether it's going to be you or it's going to be them. 
You're either going to let them completely destroy you, or you're going to say, you know what, universe, I trust you. I know that this has ended for a reason, and I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I trust there's going to be something much better for me, and there is. Trust and believe that there is. The universe is going to try to hand you a blessing, and you're going to be the one that's going to be able to receive it, because there are good things coming your way. There's the star card, so there's good things coming. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed your daily for Wednesday.